So this is a brief introduction to some basic file I.O. with Python. Specifically, we'll look at NumPy and then some more generic file input-output. So with NumPy, we have three key functions, np.savetext, txt, np.loadText, and np.column underscore stack. So first we'll create some data. We have an X array, X is lin space, 25 points from 0 to 10, and then three y corresponding Y arrays. So Y, an exponential, well, experimental data, and then uh, a couple of other forms. And then uh, we want to save this data to a uh, file. So the first column might be x and then yexp, y1, y2, and we want to save that to a file. So the first thing we have to do is create a single matrix, a two-dimensional matrix of the data. There's a very convenient function for that, np.columnStack, which takes a list uh, where each element of the list is the corresponding array. So we have uh, x, comma, yexp, comma, y1, comma, y2. Let's go between square brackets. And then if we print this two-dimensional matrix, we can see that in fact the columns are the x data, y, axp, y1, and y2. And then once we've got this two-dimensional matrix, we can save that to a file with np.save text. So this would be np.save txt, and then we give it the file name in quotes that we're going to save it to and then comma the data, the matrix of data that we are saving. Uh, dot dat isn't important, you can name it anything you want. In any case it will be a text file no matter what you call it, but it's not uncommon to name a data file something like dot dat so that it's uh, clear to the user what the data is holding. In this case it's holding data. You can add extra arguments to the data command. So if we <coughs> if we look at this, let's comment these out. So if we run this, oops, I need to go back and run NumPy. Let's go ahead and oops, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, don't forget the NumPy or NumPy as NP. Okay, and then run, create the data, save to a file. Okay, so if we save this file, then if we go and look at this file, cat uh, data dot dat, and we can see the contents of the file. So it's just a bunch of columns of numbers. If we want to give it a little bit more formatting, we can call the command with a format string 10.3f each element will have a width of 10 so the total width will be 10 we'll have three digits after the decimal place and we'll be using a floating point uh, notation so instead of scientific notation and then this header equals x y x p etc that'll put a label at the top and a delimiter of comma will separate the numbers by a comma. So if we run that, then this time you can see the size of this thing is 10, and it's separated by commas, and it has three digits. The header has a hash uh, pound sign at the beginning, and uh, it, you can change that if you want to with another argument. So just do help in p.savetext to see all the various options that are available. Okay, we can load data from a file by using um, np.loadText, and here we give the file name. And then because the, the default delimiter is just a space, so if you changed it when you saved the file to be a comma, then when we read the file, we should uh, tell it that the delimiter is a comma as well. So in this case, load text data.dat, delimiter is a comma and then it will store the data in, it'll read it, and then we store it in a matrix of data, so then we can print out the data and we get the two-dimensional 
list. If we wanted to recover the individual columns, we could do something like x equals loaded data everything comma zero. This would be all of the rows. The column would be all of the rows of the zeroth column. And then like y exp would be one and y one would be two, y two would be three, like this. X, y exp, y one, y two. And then we could reuse those if we like. <coughs> Okay, so we can do some more generic, those, those are simple, basic I.O. with NumPy, and there's a whole bunch more you can do. That's the basic idea. We can use more general file I.O. Um, uh, so we'll first look at input. <coughs> so if we take a file, uh, we can open a data file, open data.dat, the open function. Then we give it the name of the file, and then this quote R, and the R is for reading. We're going to read from the file. And then we store the file is stored as a file object called iFile. And then we can tell the file to read a line. So iFile.readLine. And that will read the first line of the file and store it as a uh, variable s. So when we print s, we get the header that we printed that we did before. And then we can read the next line of the file, ifile.readLine, and that will read the next line of the file. Store that in this S. These are strings. S is a string. So the whole line is stored as a single string. And you can see that if we write um, type S, it's a string. So you'd need to convert it explicitly if you want to recover numbers from this thing. Um, we'll look at that a little bit more. Once we are done with the file, so we opened it, and when we're done with it, we can close it, so ifile.close. So open it, read lines sequentially, and then close the file. Uh, if you want to get all the lines, you, there's the read lines. So open the file, and then lines equals ifile.readlines with the S, and that'll make a list of lines. And then if we want, we could, for example, for line in lines, we can loop over each one of those lines and print the, print the results out. So here we're using with the print command end equals quote because uh, when we pull those lines in, the new line is included in the list. So if we, did a, if we didn't have this, we just did that, we'd get two lines because each of the lines already had a new line that was in the file. Okay, so we'll just say make the new line be nothing, make the end of the thing be nothing. Okay, so read line and read lines. There's a split function, so words equals line dot split. So if we have a string, which is in this case called line, it's line dot split, and that will split it <coughs> uh, along uh, the uh, uh, spaces here. So we can see what the line is. That's the line that's stored. And then words has split it, so you can print out the words. And so words is a list of strings. Okay. And it split it based on uh, just spaces here, so the comma is, in is included in that. Okay, and then uh, we can loop over the words uh, for W in words, print W, and that'll loop through each one of these things, like so. So let's see. Um, finally, we can write some output. If we go, if we have some data we want to write to a file, we just give it the quote W for write and store that as a variable. So this O file will be an output file object. You can call it whatever you want. I file makes sense for input. O file for output. <coughs> and then we can do O file dot write a string, some header. O file dot write some new line. O file dot write this isn't a new line um, because we didn't put a new line in there. O file dot write third line and close it when we're done. So once we've got that, we can check it out. Um, cat. Output 
put dot dot and you can see what was what was written by these commands so just a few basic uh, processes here okay that's all